So one of the big questions that I often get, particularly from um, new students or people that are new to the community, is, um, is the Temple of Witchcraft a Wiccan organization? Do we practice Wicca? So what are your thoughts about that? When I get asked about if we're Wicca or if we're witchcraft, I think my first answer is really yes. Uh, but it depends on really what you mean by those different words. So I know when I began in these practices and when I first started joining community many moons ago, you sort of had a process of building up because people weren't familiar with what the word witch was. And it was before a lot of the TV shows and books and the large chain bookstores carrying you know witchcraft books easily available. So you started out with saying you were involved in earth religions or nature religions. And then you sort of worked into the word of pagan. And either that really upset people or they were very curious. And you could explain that pagan meant of the land and the rural traditions and things like that. Um, and then you worked your way up to the word Wicca. That was the first W word, because um, most people at that time didn't really know what Wicca was. Um, although it's interesting now, that's probably a very familiar word to a lot of people. So I, I had made a joke to somebody before I went to see a new doctor and they asked, you know, what I did and what I taught and everything. And I'm always never know what to answer with that question, you know, in, in those situations. Um, and, and when I explained that I was a teacher of witchcraft, he goes, oh, like Wicca, right? And I was like, yeah, close enough, you know. Um, and then you'd sort of work your way up to the word witch and the word witchcraft. And if they were okay with Wicca and pagan and nature-based religions, usually they were going to be okay with witchcraft. Um, I know my teachers really focused on the word witchcraft. They didn't shy away from the word Wicca, but they didn't embrace it. Um, and Wicca can mean a lot of different things to different people, particularly through the, the last few decades. You know, for a lot of people, they make a, a, a very clear break between what's traditional Wicca and what's eclectic and solitary Wicca. Um, and you know, from a lot of practices, we draw from both because so much has been made public. A lot of my teachers have drawn on things. Some people say you're Wiccan if you teach the Wiccan read. And we do teach the Wiccan read, but like a read, we think of it as good advice. It's not a hard rule. Uh, but at the same time, I think most traditional Wiccans taught it that way too. You know, so I, I think, you know, it, it depends on how you define all these different words, but there's been a big movement to try to disassociate with Wic Wicca um, or think that Wicca is not something good or Wicca is something that we should be um, really separate from. And I don't feel that way at all. I feel like there's so much of our roots um, and so much of what we practice and the freedom that we have to practice come from people who were trained in or identify as Wiccan. I think of my deep spiritual ancestors of figures like Doreen Valente. And I think without Gerald Gardner, we wouldn't all be doing what we're doing, whether you love them or hate them. So I embrace the word Wicca as part of my spiritual heritage, but I really describe what we do as witchcraft. Um, I describe myself as a witch. I say there's a reason why we called it the Temple of Witchcraft. I don't know. What, what do you, how do you guys feel about it? No, I agree with you. I think um, when, you know, and I'm down in Mississippi, so the environment is very different probably than around Salem. Um, but people were definitely not okay with the word witch. In fact, that's one of the things that um, takes a bit of processing as you're kind of working through witchcraft one is getting comfortable with that word. Um, because you could be pagan, you could be Wiccan, as long as you weren't a witch, then it was fine, right? Um, and the word Wicca never really sat well with me because I wasn't trained. I wasn't initiated. Um, when I was first coming up, you know, I was reading and exploring and most of what I could find to read and explore was information from Wiccan traditions. So I felt that kinship and I felt that connection, but it wasn't quite, it wasn't quite where I was at. Um, so I don't identify myself as a Wiccan. I tend to identify as a witch, um, but I don't have any hard feelings or um, feel any kind of way about people who do practice Wicca. It, it's interesting because there's kind of been a switch in the last, I don't know, five or 10 years. Um, y back in the day, in the 90s and things like that, it was okay if you were Wiccan. Everybody just assumed you were Wiccan. Um, you know, so it kind of became annoying. It's just like people assuming you were Christian, that, that gets annoying. Um, so I think there was a little bit of pushback of defining yourself, of labeling, you know, what you are, you know. Um, so I get that. I do understand that and, and the frustration with that. Or there was a feeling that if you weren't Wiccan, then you, you know, practice some sort of eagle, evil, uh, you know, discordant type practices, um, which is also not true. But um, but yeah, I, I see it going the other direction now. People seem to want to really push away from, oh, I'm not Wiccan. And I think there's a deep wealth of knowledge and experience there. And I think you're right. It's part of our heritage, you know. Um, 
But I also think that we're kind of magpies, witches, and we just sort of collect what works for us and and sort of move and flow with with where our spirits and energies take us. And some of those practices, I would I would look at them and say, this looks absolutely like a Wiccan practice. Um, you know, just like I would point to other things and say, I can see where the, the roots of this practice are, you know? So that's my experience. <laughs> of Jeremy Crow from The Secret of Nim, who said, ooh, a sparkly. Um, and that's always sort of st uh, struck me. I think um, I heard it from you originally, Christopher, but you might've been um, quoting someone else and that were sort of the scavengers religion and that's always reminded me of like the you know the picking through the piles that you see uh, like crows and ravens do um, when I when I first got involved in magic you know I think there was a strong separation between the words wicca and witch and like just in the types of books that were available to me you know in the 80s right uh, and um, late 80s, right? Uh, and and so what was available to me and where I first learned magic a lot was, you know, like Scott Cunningham, you know, what was like the big blue book, you know, like were these, uh, these, that was the literature that was the availability at the time. And so I think I did have some identification, you know, at the start of being Wiccan. Um, and I think it's grown over time. And, um, and I think that my understanding that there is a different, uh, you know, there's different aspects available. There's what's public and there's what's private. You know, there's what's that's in the religion and that those are, I don't know what those are, you know, like those aren't available to me. So I can see how we're very influenced uh, in certain ways in what we do. And I, and I really honor that. I think that that's important to recognize that, you know, there's roots in our system today that really come from Wicca um, uh, in various ways. Um, I don't, I don't really have any hard feelings about it either. I mean, I, I kind of like it, you know, like it, to me, it's a very interesting aspect of things that, that we can be Jeremy Crows and, and we can find the sparkly and all of those things and bring them together into our nest and say, look how this works and how cool it is. You know, uh, of course, always with respect too from where it comes from. So if I know that it comes from someplace, I always say, you know, I got it from here or uh, we tend to find it in these places so that people um, don't lose those roots or lose those threads. I think that's also uh, an important piece for me as well. I think it's important to note as well that the temple does not have um, specific deity that we work with or specific liturgy that we have to work with. So there are members in the temple who are Wiccan and, you know, who practice their personal practice is a Wiccan practice and they identify that way, just like we have, you know, um, all sorts of different uh, individual practices within the temple. So I think it's important to recognize that as well.